Alright, uh, come on, roll the clap! Yeah! Star Wars! Hey guys, it's Brady9364 here, and um, I hope you enjoyed that bit there. Um, I couldn't get the thing to start at first, so ah, roll the clap. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. If the sound sucks, don't worry about it. It probably does, but that's all I can do. I can't do anything about it. So, episode four, everybody. A new Hope. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is probably the weakest of the original trilogy. Well, because it's the first one and it's, like, it's really kid-friendly. There's nothing really bad. There's nothing really insanely gruesome like the Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi. Which I would actually want because I'm a freaking 12-year-old. What do you expect? Um... So, in in this movie, Luke Skywalker, and Princess Leia, and Han Solo, Ben Kenobi, which they Ben Kenobi is um pretty good. He's not bad. Like if you if you if you guys wanted to see Obi Wan Kenobi, you could watch either the prequels or this movie. They're very similar, except there's not so many day one liners and crap. And you don't have to see him very often. You don't see him like... If you want to watch the prequel trilogy, you'll get a lot more Obi-Wan Kenobi. A good Obi-Wan Kenobi, in fact. And, um... But, that's only my opinion. If you guys want to see the... If you think this Obi-Wan Kenobi is a lot better than, uh... Uh, Ewan McGregor. That's up to you. I think they're both as good as each other. I think they're really good. So, um, in this movie, uh, Prince, it starts out with, like, C-3PO and R2-D2. That's the first characters you even see. Um, if you don't count, like, uh, the Rebel Troopers and Storm Troopers, those are the first characters you see. And it's really pretty cool that, like, whenever people saw this in theaters, they went crazy. My dad saw it in the theaters when it first came out. The original 1977 release, which will probably not ever come out, which my friend Cade said it w will, but I'm not sure about that. But, in this movie, they changed a lot of stuff in the re-release on Blu-ray. Now, Luke Skywalker... He is very similar. Everyone says, oh, it's original. It's nothing to compare. It's way better than episode 1, 2, and 3. Now, uh, clearly this is better than 2 and 1, and but that's it. 3 is better than this movie, in my opinion. Because of Luke. And Luke Skywalker, he sounds like a baby. He whines. And it makes sense because he has genes from his dad. I mean, listen to this. Does it not sound the same? From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. But I wanted to go to Tossie Station to pick up some power converters. See, they have the same voice. You guys need to lay it off Hayden Christensen and look at Luke from episode 4. Um, so, no one really realizes that unless you watch it again, but, 
that's only my opinion. If you like Luke for how he was, and it's fine with me. And Return of Jedi, he's perfectly fine. He's a good, he's a good character. Um, Ben Kenobi, lightsaber, and I don't know where they get shots of Luke on Tatooine with his lightsaber because it doesn't, he doesn't use it even half of the time. He uses a dang blaster, which I think is stupid. I wish they would make like a video game re-release, like, but it's like Force Unleashed. Except you have a blaster, and you, you at the end of the game you have a choice to stay and fight Vader or go and leave and take the normal route and be an X-wing fighter or stay and fight Vader and making a completely new route for the game. And you, there's no DLC or anything to complete the game. And what I'm thinking is in this game, like, you stay and fight Vader and you, like, get, you, like, beat, get beaten the crap out of him and then he turns you to the dark side or something. But enough about that. This movie is really, really good. And, um, everyone's saying the new movie, this is a sort of spoiler, it's not, not really, but, in, uh, Force Awakens, it's very similar to this. Very, very similar, actually. But... It's not, it, Force Awakens doesn't make it a bad movie. It doesn't make it a bad movie. Everyone is saying, oh, The Force Awakens sucks because it's so much like A New Hope. And I, sa and I say to them, screw you, Force Awakens is so much better than this movie. They're just trying to make it, they're just trying to re-release it, trying to make it similar enough so people will understand that Star Wars can't be bad anymore. There. Don't look at episode 2 anymore. Episode 2. It's awful, okay? This one, these movies, they're so much better than episode 2. Don't look at episode 2 and say, this movie's good. Force Awakens sucks compared to it. Because you're an idiot. Yeah, if I ever hear someone say, oh, The Force Awakens. I should be talking about A New Hope right now, but I don't care. Oh, The Force Awakens sucks. To episode 2 is even better than it. I would kill them. I'd probably hurt them. Probably say, you're an idiot. Punch them in the face. They're stupid if anyone say that. I will do something to them. If any of your friends say that, post in the comments and I'll tell them to just die. <laughs> I'll tell them, you. I'll give you a reason of my examples of what to say to them. So... And if you like that, you don't you don't need to comment that because I'm gonna go to your videos and dislike every single one of your videos. Just kidding about that, guys. But overall, this movie's amazing. Except there are a couple bad things about it, like Obi Wan not. A, well, I don't know if they had that in mind yet that Vader was gonna be Luke's father. Spoilers. No, everyone's seen Star Wars. Um. I don't know if they had that planned yet, but if it was, I don't. I think it's stupid that Obi Wan doesn't go. Hey, Luke, that guy's your father. Um, look, that's your sister, Luke. Um, you need to use the Force, Luke, like your father. But if you don't want to kill Vader, you're gonna. You have to kill Vader in a certain point of view. Yeah, it's stupid. But that's one of the only flaws with the original trilogy. That's a huge flaw with the original trilogy altogether. Luke, that's your dad. What? My dad's a bad guy? Yes, Luke. You have to kill him. I'm not going to kill my dad. Well, you have to. I'm not going to be your apprentice anymore. You're an evil butthole. <sighs> and there, there's the... There's the whole plot of Zelda, the entire plot of Zelda. No, the Star Wars plot that would have been that would have made it bad anyway. But overall, I'm just gonna say this movie is not it's not as bad as two. It's not bad. It's really not bad. There's a lot of flaws with it, but I would say it's on par with Revenge of the Sith. Now, if you guys hate me for that, go ahead. I'll let you do that. I'll let you talk about that. But I, I won't listen to you. Okay? So, 
in the next episode of season two, I'll be talking about episode five of, of <laughs> episode five Revenge of the Sith. Episode five, The Empire Strikes Back, which is a lot different. This is a lot different from this movie. So, till then, I bid you farewell. Until the next episode, see you guys later.